right, so that's the basics to get you going on making supports in uh, the new Chidu box. Now we want to uh, take a look at the Freelancer's specific task of slicing and exporting out the file as a .photon format and uh, printing directly uh, on the photon. So this model is one that I prepared earlier. It's the same model, just uh, with uh, supports added. And again, this is about 90% auto supports, and I've added some manual supports so specific to this model. Uh, so just stuff like you know this section here, where it may not be needed, but uh, I've gone through and added it in there anyway, uh, just to make sure there isn't any printing problems. So once you're happy with the uh, support you've made. One thing I would highly recommend is exporting out the model as an STL for backup. And what that's going to do is save your model along with the supports. Uh, you should always be saving your G2 project as well, uh, so you can go back and edit the supports later. Once you've exported out the STL, and then import it back in as an STL, you won't be able to edit the supports again. So to edit the supports, you need to open up and save the project, uh, Cheetah Box project. Um, but for this one, I have exported it out as an STL that's uh, supported. And then now we're gonna look at slicing. So to slice the file for uh, model for printing on the Photon, just make sure you have the Anycubic Photon Profile selected next to the Slice button. Um, it's always good to run through the cross-section view as well just to check the model. And once you're happy with it, hit the Slice button. And once that finishes slicing, it's going to give you a nice preview of the uh, the layers in the photon file. I'll wait for that to finish. Cool. So this will be the preview before saving and you can see here we also have a cross-section slider which is very useful and most of you should uh, recognize this view as the uh, cross-section layer of uh, your photon file. So just take a quick look through and check to see everything is all legit. Once you're happy with that, hit the export button. And by default it's going to save to a dot photon file, which is what you want. And then just hit save and it's going to save out the photon file which uh, will be ready for printing on the uh, on the photon. Now taking a look at the resin usage, the volume and the time. So uh, just from testing this, printing this exact model, um, the time is fairly accurate but the volume or the resin usage is uh, still way off. So in reality, it used about uh, 50 mils of resin. So I'm not quite entirely sure how uh, they are calculating the, the volume, but uh, yeah, it's, it's you know, using three times, uh, tw probably about two and a half times more resin than what it actually does. So to get a super accurate of your resin usage and print time, I would launch the very excellent Photon File Validator, load in your Photon File, hit information, and this estimate here is pretty much 100% spot on. So that's one improvement that I would recommend to Cheetah Box for the next version. 
is taking a look at how the volume uh, is calculated in the preview here but the time is pretty close to, to the actual time okay so that's exporting to uh, dot photon file for printing on the animal cubic photon 